I was 15 years old at the time, and I remember being told in my high school honors English class that there was this new program, and the founders had come to our public New York City High School in Chelsea, Manhattan, and said, we want some of your students, girls specifically, to come take part in this revolutionary new program called Take Our Daughters to Work. And so at the time, our class specifically was told that we were going to go visit the ABC newsroom and we were going to meet the legendary newscaster, Peter Jennings. Ahead of visiting the newsroom, we were given an assignment. We had to create the news broadcast of the future, which meant that we had to put together our own news show and pretend as if it was going to air 20, 30 years down the line. So we came up with all of these silly news stories that to us seemed preposterous at the time. This was 1993. So our big headline was, Madonna has a baby. We put it all together and I got to be the anchor. So later the next week, we went to the ABC newsroom. It was the very first year of the Take Our Daughters to Work program and they put on a big to-do for us. And of course, it was so much more exciting and interesting and fascinating than I ever thought it would be. We got to spend the day in the newsroom and learn about how the news was put together. And then towards the end of our time there, we all got to sit in a conference room and have a talk with Peter Jennings. And that is what changed my life. He talked to us about his career. He explained his news philosophy all of the places he had been around the world, some of the hardest stories he had to cover. I just sat there in awe. I remember going home that night and telling my parents, I think I just met the smartest man in the entire world, and I want to be just like him. He agreed to watch our news broadcast of the future with our snazzy headlines. Uh, he watched a portion of it, and don't forget, I was the anchor. He turned to me and he said, I think you got something. And that was it. That was the defining moment for me. I ended up going to the Newhouse School of Public Communications at Syracuse University, which was difficult to get into. And after graduating a few years later, I started working at WNBC as an on-air reporter covering you know, the very community that I grew up in. It was quite literally a dream come true, the dream that I had when I was 15 years old. And I've been with WNBC the last 12 years. I've covered some amazing stories, some really deeply challenging stories. Uh, recently won an Emmy for our work on uh, coverage of Hurricane Sandy. And it's been a phenomenal career and experience. And I absolutely 100% give credit to the Take Our Daughters and Sons to Work Foundation. Now, when I'm in the field reporting, nine times out of 10, we will get approached by children in the field. You know, we're in the NBC News van and I have the microphone and the photographer. They wanna know, are you famous? Can I be famous? I wanna be on TV. What news story is this? They just have countless questions and I really do want to answer all of those questions because it takes me right back to that moment when I first discovered what news was and my excitement. And I came up with this idea to write a children's book featuring a young girl who's a TV news reporter. And uh, it was more difficult than I thought, but uh, it's happening. And the book is called Emma is on the Air. She's an eight-year-old, dynamic, spunky, funny kid. And she goes to school with her smartphone and she starts interviewing students. She finds a news story that really has some, some meat to it. She's challenged in ways that she never thought she would be. And she finds that she's able to do things that are really difficult, like writing her own news story. And so there are gonna be three more books featuring Emma and her friends who become sort of junior journalists themselves. I'm hoping that they get that same spark from the Emma character that I got from Peter Jennings uh, more than 20 years ago and the Take Our Daughters and Sons to Work Foundation.